Back to everything swift, today we will be tackling lead code question 9 titled palindrome number. Another day, another palindrome. I've done a couple of palindrome questions before on this channel. Uh, I think I did one yesterday as well. Feel free to check that out. But today we are supposed to check if this uh, x parameter here of type integer is a palindrome, right? Uh, and those of you who are not familiar of what a palindrome is, is basically saying whatever that is typed or read uh, forward and backward, it should be exactly the same, right? So for example, we, we use this example here, 121. If we type that forward, is 121. If we type it backwards, it's also 121, right? And if it's uh, 123, if we type it forward, it's 123. If we type it backward, it's 321, right? So this is not a pendulum. 123 is not a parameter, right? So interesting thing to note here is also that the negative value uh, is also not a parameter, right? So we have to be careful with that. Uh, negative 121, right? If you spell it backward, it will be 121 minus, right? Negative here. So it's not exactly the same. So it is not a valid parameter, okay? So, um, how do we solve this question, right? There are, I think there are many solutions to this question, to be honest. Like, I think one of it, the easiest one, will be converting this integer into a string. And then we just reverse that string and then compare if they are exactly the same uh, to this parameter here. If it is, then that is a valid parameter. So, probably a one-liner solution, but <clears throat> I think in the real world scenario in uh, interview, which is probably going to be like 30 minutes to an hour long, if we just type out a single line answer, they'll probably expand it. Uh, and I think that that is why there is a follow up section here that says that can you solve it without converting this integer into a string, right? So if any of you thought of that solution, that's great, but uh, there might be a follow up question since it's too simple, right? So just to call it out there that there is another way that we could probably use using a two-pointer approach using a, probably converting this into an array and then use a starting pointer, ending pointer and look through from the start index and end index and just compare the value all the way to the middle point. At any point in time, you find the integer is not the same. That's not a valid pattern, right? So there's a second potential solution that we can try. But today I'm going to show you an interesting way of how we're going to manipulate this uh, integer parameter here and reverse it without converting its type. So we're going to reverse an integer value by keeping it an integer, uh, its type as integer still, right? So that's why I chose to demonstrate this answer here today uh, rather than the two-pointer approach or the string approach. So let's check this out, right? So I'm going to start with the guard statement here. We've got uh, to zero. okay. So why are we doing this guard here, right? As we can see in this example two, negative numbers are not valid palindrome. No matter what kind of value it is, negative one, negative one thousand, any negative value is not valid palindrome. So we are just guarding here. If uh, this x value happens to be a palindrome, we will just return false, not zero, false. Right? So, because it's not a valid value. Now, a second case that we can use a fast exit is uh, if this x value is a single digit, right? Because uh, imagine if the x value is 3, right? Spa uh, typing or reading 3 forward and backwards is exactly the same because it's a single digit, right? So, we can just go ahead and check that. Uh, if x is less than 10, just return true. So this is just for performance reason. We just check it ahead of time and just exit this whole function block as fast as possible, right? So let's have some fun by reversing this integer uh, by keeping it as an integer still, right? So I'm going to create a time variable that uh, holds reference to this x uh, value here. And then I'm going to have this result uh, variable here, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to iterate uh, this while loop um, if it's not equal to zero and we'll keep this while loop alive right so the result will be result 
times 10 plus 10 modulo 10. So let me add these brackets just for clarity here. Uh -huh. And we're going to decrease the 10 variable here by dividing it by 10 at each iteration. And then what happens is this result will be the reverse version of x. And with that, we can just check if the result is exactly as x. Right? So how does this uh, these two lines work here, right? At each iteration, what we're going to do is imagine we are uh, the x parameter here is 121. What will happen here is like in the modular operation represented by this percentage symbol here, uh, modular gives us the remainder, right? And if we want to 1 modular 10, it will give us 1, right? If And then after that, we will check uh, if 10, uh, not check, well, we are going to manipulate uh, 10 uh, divided by 10. So 121 divided by 10 will give us 12, right? So it's not 12.1 because we are dealing with integer. We are not dealing with flow and double. So uh, 121 divided by 10 will give us 12. And then the, in the next loop, uh, while loop operation here, 12 will modulo 10, right? And it will give us 2, right? And then we'll go ahead again and divide by 10, it will give us 1, right? because it, it won't be 1.2 as I mentioned because it's an integer right so this will give us 1 and then 1 modulo 10 will give us 1 right and then uh, it will give us 0 right in the next uh, variable and you can see here in each modular operation it is 1 to 1 right so yeah so that is exactly how we, we keep the uh, x manipulation here as type integer without converting it into a string without converting it into an array but we are still reversing it uh, as we can see in these results here right so let me just print the result here uh, result let me just result before and then we will see result after right it should be uh, 121 as we can prove it in this return statement here but just want to clarify like that is how I reverse it by dividing by uh, 10 to reduce the 121 into 12 into 1 and uh, so on right and then the result will basically get the remainder of the division uh, which is 1 2 1 and that's how I reverse the integer so let's go ahead and run this and see so results before is uh, zero, results after is 121, right? So that's good. Uh, okay, let me just remove this. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and submit this. And there we have it. That is the solution. We've managed to solve this question using this approach. Uh, as I mentioned, like there are a couple of solutions that are uh, that can be used as well, right? The string way, the uh, two-pointers approach as well. But I chose this just to show this uh, operation here that you can reverse the integer by doing this format, right? So as always, like if you guys find this kind of video helpful, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to grow this channel and help me spread the word to other uh, enthusiasts, Swift enthusiasts or any iOS developer who are interested in this kind of uh, video, right? So as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Uh, thanks for your support and bye-bye.